Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In today's episode, I wanted to show you guys this side lighting jet torch cigar lighter from from a company called um, Hawa. How how how? I have no idea. It's made in China, uh, and I've gotten this lighter. I had it for a while, and I wanted to make a video about it, show you guys what I think of it. And with that said, let's get on with it. Now, what really, what I really found interesting about this lighter was that unlike most lighters, where you know you you open up the top and you push a button down for it to light. This one has a side press button, and it reminded me of an older lighter I have. If I can find a, if I can find it, I'll shoot a small video to show you what I mean. Um, I actually misspoke, as this is actually a Presto lighter that I bought from an antique store. But uh, but yes, Ronson did make a similar lighter with the top lighting. There, there used to be these brand of lighters where you just press this top and it would light up. You know, this smaller door would open up. Uh, they're Ronsons, I think. And this kind of reminded me of that, but this one lights in a different way. And I'll show you. You press the side here. And it lights up on the side, which is kind of neat. So you literally just push the side and it lights like that. Now, as you noticed, I've, I've been fidgeting around with the flame here. There we go. Now this uh, this is one thing I'll get into right now as I start talking about it a little more. It is a jet flame lighter so it is somewhat windproof and another thing that is great is as I understand uh, jet lighters do not um, tamper with the flavor of the cig like a cigarette or the tobacco. They don't tarnish it. So that's why a lot of cigar smokers and pipe smokers will prefer jet flames over, say, uh, a butane, well, I mean, uh, like a soft flame one, or uh, even Zippo lighters. Zippos tend to have that petrol, gasoline taste, I guess, or smell that goes into the cigar. I personally wouldn't know since I don't smoke, but, uh, but yeah. Another thing I like personally about jet flames is the fact that when it's lit, the fire, the, the flame comes out at, a, at an angle, so if you need to apply heat to something that is, say, down here, you can do that, whereas if you were to have like a soft flame lighter, once that thing is lit, the, f the heat only comes up. So there is a bit of a benefit to having a um, jet flame, and they're a little bit more uh, windproof than compared to a soft flame lighter. Now with all that said, Let's take a look at the lighter a little up close. Um, as you can see here, it's nicely put together. It has all these little rivets. Um, has a little wheel down here to adjust the flame height and also to fuel it up from inside here. And, you know, not seen on most lighters, this has a little lanyard loop here. So you can attach this to maybe a lanyard, which is really nice. Uh, I know it's not meant as a as a uh, survival lighter this thing but uh, i always find it interesting and kind of useful for uh, for my gear to have somewhat of a retention system if, if you ever needed to attach something to this you could attach to it and it'll be fine it wouldn't get it wouldn't get lost in a pocket or something um the lid closes here in the front like so spring loaded and when you press the side it opens up now, one thing I don't particularly like about this lighter, um, there's a, you know a few things that I would have you know maybe done differently. Um, that is this this fueling thing right here. I wish it was a little more recessed, uh, rather than so up top, so you can you know. I'm I'm worried in the pocket it would get knocked about and change, you know, f the level of the flame. But then again, I guess it would be easy to readjust it. Now. Another thing I don't understand why it is um, like this. This is maxed out. This is as far as as high as the flame goes, and we only get about this much flame, which is not bad. But um, yeah, I don't I don't know I don't know why it's only this much. The lower levels don't even work, 
So, I mean, if I lower it less than that, hang on, let's see, see? It goes out nearly immediately, so it has to be on max all the time, which doesn't make much sense. So, overall, just looking at this lighter, playing around with it a little bit, and looking at the build quality, I'd say build quality is great uh, as far as the, the body goes. It's just the internals are, I guess, not working just right. I did fuel it up with good Ronson um, fuel, so it's not, I know it's not the fuel. I've been using this thing for a long time. But, um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you ever seen a lighter like this? Um, uh, what do you think? It, it's been always my question, which one's better, jet flame or the soft flame? So, so let me know what your personal preference is. If you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing. And uh, I will see you next time. Have a great day.